Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Athendor Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Ultimate General Civil War for the very first Let's Play on the channel. We're going to do the campaign, and we're going to start with the beginning, and listen to a nice quote by Abraham Lincoln. I think for our choice here, we're going to go strategist for army organization training, and then we're going to go artillery for logistics and medicine. Lastly, for our career, we're going to choose business, I think, because that economy bonus is going to be really nice. We'll get into what all the skills do later. And of course, we're going to pick Union, and we're going to do just normal difficulty. For our name, we're going to go Athandor, and we're going to not use the tips because they really annoy, and start. So this is going to give us a little training mission here. Nothing too special. The rebels are there. A train is coming. We should capture the town and the railroad tracks. Their garrison does not exceed 3,000 soldiers, allegedly. Uh, use our vanguard to clear the town's perimeter. So let's get started here. Real quick, we're going to pause the game. So we have our unit here. This is us, the general of First Corps. We give a buff to everything in this radius. We have Zook here. That's an infantry regiment equipped with Springfield muskets. And then two small units of skirmishers equipped with sharps, rifles, Schaefer, and Stockton. So we're going to have Stockton go ahead and sloop up through the woods there. And then we're going to have Schaefer go and take the high ground. And Zook is going to head straight up the middle with our general. So skirmishers are really good in this game. Um, I think they're a pretty underused unit in general, uh, but they're very, very effective, but very micro heavy. So you better be prepared to use your micromanagement skills. We have a little rebel unit of skirmishers up there on our flank, but our guys should be able to handle them. We want to stay away from them because that flanking fire is going to be bad news. There's actually quite a lot of rebel skirmishers over there, so I'm going to send Stockton back around. Send Zook over there to get after him. And <laughs> looks like they shot up my general unit and he ran away. Well, not an auspicious start, but it's okay. That rebel unit of skirmishers is running away, but they'll be back. They always come back. Alright, infantry unit takes some brief casualties, but we're going to have them go ahead and get stuck in against these guys over here. Stockton's coming up for the take the flank there. Mm, not a fan of that. We're going to go ahead and have Zook charge here. Skirmishers really don't like to be in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So if we can get them into it, it's going to be a big advantage for us. Mm, I don't think he's going to be able to run him down. Let's have him halt. Now we have the cover in the woods, and we've kind of driven them into a clearing here. That should play to our advantage, but we've lost a lot of men there. Keep having Stockton push across. We're gonna have Schaefer come up and clear this wood line. We are in 1861, right at the start of the war. If we go and take a quick peek over here, we have a river running through this rebel controlled town. Uh, we can see a rebel infantry brigades holding this side. That's no good for us. They're going to be tough to dig out of there. We have a little vision point right here. If you take those and hold them with your troops, it gives you vision over the battlefield. That's why we can see down in the town now, because our skirmishers are up there. Our infantry units are really having a tough time here. 
against these skirmishers. I suppose they're really doing their job. Skirmishing well. Stockton's going to get down there and occupy this defensive position here. While Schaefer chases down Burns. Zook still not having great effect on that rebel skirmisher. Ah. So here we're going to get some reinforcements. We're going to get some cavalry. Personally, not a great fan of cavalry in this game. If skirmishers are micro heavy, cavalry are a whole nother level of micro intensive. But we're also going to get some artillery. And artillery are the best units in the game. Got some supplies here, so we're going to position our artillery on this ridge. I'm trying to look down over McHenry here and see if we can't dig him out with some gunfire. First. Bristow and his cavalry here we're going to bring up. I want Schaefer to hold back. I don't want him to keep chasing those guys. He's just going to take more casualties. So Bristow and his cavalry here are going to be real good for dealing with these skirmishers. Other than that, cavalry seem to be kind of dubious value to me. <laughs> but we'll get there. We'll get there. So we're going to move around these skirmishers' flank and maybe get a chance to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Send that cavalry to go charge down into those guys. Actually, I'm going to think better of that. I don't want to wander into range of that rebel infantry unit. They're going to deal a lot of damage if we let them mess us up like that. Zook is seen off those skirmishers. We're going to do something real dumb here and leave them in our flank here. But with our skirmishers able to cover the rear, we should be fine. Where's those cavalry I'm going to bring down around here? <sighs> Not a fan of cavalry in this game. They die very easily. <laughs> and that's, that's just not cool, man. Missing our general unit is going to be a real problem. I'm afraid. All right, we're going to have Zook get those guys off that vision point. We don't want them being able to direct artillery fire on us. That would be real bad. We're going to have Bristow dismount here to help him survive a little better and basically fight as speedy skirmishers with worse morale and worse shooting. Just to say, just worse. Worse skirmishers. You may think I'm being over the top on my hatred for uh, cavalry, but I promise you I will be vindicated. All right, let's have him mount up real quick and get after these guys. See if we can see the one thing that they're good for, which is, yep, see we just wiped out that unit there. Wiping out skirmishers, the perfect use for cavalry. Everything else worthless all right we're going to get zook up and move him into this cornfield here we're going to tell our artillery ah forget about those guys we want you to attack mchenry and we're going to come after him with everything we got zook will be our reinforcements We're going to have our cavalry come over here and take this vision point. See if we can't get a better fix on the situation. So these rebels, this little silver outline here tells us they're taking cover. There's like a special cover position in that town. Those are really, really critical to use well, but sometimes are actually a little underwhelming. I feel like compared to just sticking your guys in a cornfield or something like that. Our skirmishers are skirmishing here, which I would much rather than actually sit in the field there. Unfortunately, they don't feel like it, so they're not going to do that. I think I'm going to have them come over here and cover this flank because we did not kill that rebel skirmisher unit. 
that ran over there. He may have already retreated. That may be him retreating there, or that may be the unit that we broke already. Nope, there they are. Great. Well, that means that Stockton can circle around here. And if we can drive McHenry out of those defensive positions, we may, may be able to gun down a good number of them with Stockton as they go to retreat. We're going to send Walton into charge. Sitting here shooting at each other like this is just going to cause us a ton of casualties. We have more men. Our morale is pretty high. 97%, I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, see, McHenry has broken fortifications at this point, and that's going to make him easy prey. Again, we're going to send our skirmishers up front. Now, we just heard some rebel artillery there. That is concerning. Artillery works one of two ways in this game. It either kills absolutely everything or absolutely nothing. I don't have a great way to predict which is which. I'm going to bring my artillery over and set them up right here so they can shoot across the front of the rebel line like that maybe bypass some of their cover meanwhile my skirmishers are doing well at their job artillery very slow so we may be waiting a minute i'm going to speed the game up a tick goes up to three times speed uh, i would caution you if you are ever playing this game to think very carefully about your use of three times speed because things can happen very, very fast. But it is good for situations like this where we're just waiting for some troops to move into position. Law right here is going to be an issue. So breastworks like this are very, very effective. This is the training mission, the first mission of the campaign. Um, the campaign's actually really, really cool in that both armies are persistent. So these units are going to stick around if they don't get wiped out. And these units for the rebels are going to stick around again if they don't get wiped out. Meaning that we're going to see these same commanders and units over and over again. They can gain experience. Mine can gain experience. Very cool setup. I really appreciate it. The company who made this game has actually come out with a number of other games recently the Ultimate Admiral series. So this is Ultimate General Civil War. And they recently released, I think it was today on Steam, Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, which seems pretty interesting to me. But something that's far more interesting to me is the anticipated release of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, which is all about like World War I, interwar period era battleships, stuff like that. You can bet that I'm going to play that game as soon as they get that campaign mode working, which is something I think they've been working on. All right, we just broke McHenry and we broke McLaw we broke Law out of that defensive position. As you can see, our artillery absolutely tore him apart. I just screwed up and told him to move there, but I saved it. I did. Zook, Walton, get across. They're going to want to try and stop and shoot. Schaefer just got absolutely brutalized there. That is very unfortunate. I'm going to get my cavalry up into the town here. Again, trying to get them across. Got to get across this bridge. You're going to take a lot of casualties here. But hopefully an aggressive push will keep on them while their morale is low. I don't want him to re-dig in and having to keep pushing him out. See, Law ran all the way out of town. So now I can isolate McHenry and really rip into him. All right, Schaefer's recovered. Stockton's doing okay. I'm going to send him up and around here. He's telling me Zook is exhausted because I've marched him too much. I have bad news for you, friend. 
All right, we got to get on that rebel artillery or he's going to rip into us with canister. All right, here comes a rebel charge. Loomis is going to get off a volley at point blank range. Tear him up pretty good. And now, oh, that's a bad spot for Walton. We may actually lose this. As you can see, we've just taken a ton of casualties. That close range canister shot from those cannons is absolutely brutal. Normally, if they weren't so tight knit, you would send in cavalry to help deal with them. But that's just not possible. Uh, the cavalry get absolutely torn apart in this close quarter fighting. We're going to send Zook around the corner. We're going to tell him to run. Sorry you're exhausted, but also go run around the corner of this town. Because uh, Walton is getting just ripped apart by these cannons. If I charge, though, McHenry and Root are going to give me hell. So it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario. going to have Loomis get over there. All right. We're starting to turn this tide a little bit. Sending Schaefer up and around. Artillery's doing just fine. We're going to have them start shooting at Root over here. Because even though he's not involved in the battle right now, he's definitely going to be involved later. There's no doubt about that. If this artillery battery is happy to let us sit here, shoot at it, and kill off all of its men... Kind of happy to do that. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. The canister hurts, but charging into massed musket fire hurts more. I don't think I have a great option here. All right, you two get over there and get in with Burns. And drive him off. Alright, Walton is going to turn his fire onto Law here. We're just trying to make sure that everybody who's facing up to us is taking fire. One of the key things here is letting a unit just kind of sit and punish you is a very bad idea in this game. Alright, let's see here. Seen that artillery off. Perfect. Loomis, move up. Zook. Game, engage McHenry, Loomis engaged Law, Walton engaged Law, Stockton and Schaefer go engage Sill. Actually, Stockton, you take on Burns and McHenry. There you go. Schaefer saw him off in one shot. Look at that. We're going to move this artillery across the river now. Okay, we just lost Schaefer. He may not be dead, dead with that many men still left. But he's taken pretty heavy casualties at this point, and we want to preserve him. We're going to move Stockton back a little bit for that same purpose. Actually, delay that. We're going to move him out to the flank so that he can get around McHenry and see if we can't destroy McHenry. All right, and we're going to send our cavalry through so we can try and get around. All right. McHenry turned his flank to us. That's his last mistake. Now we're going to go after Burns. Root's going to come get involved now. That's not good. So Scales and Woods set up in this town here. I know. Line of sight works a little strangely in this game. You can definitely set up cannons in the middle of buildings and they'll be just, just fine. Just fine. Don't worry about it. Why would, why would that be a concern? All right, cavalry, go do your cavalry thing. Charge these guys. Oh, yeah, perfect. Exactly what I wanted right there. I'm going to send Stockton over to engage law. Skirmishers are taking real heavy casualties right here. See if we can move Bristow around the flank and look for our moment to go get after Root here. Just lost Stockton as well. This has not gone very well for us, I will say. 
All right, we're going to keep moving our cannons up. We want to get them close. We want to let them use their guns at the closest possible range. We're going to move our cavalry around the back. Ah, see. Law has driven off. All right. Rebels prepare a counterattack. So we've taken the town here. Let's see what the rebels have for us. Town is secure, but the rebels are determined to retake it. We have prepared some entrenchments to stop their assault. Those entrenchments are actually already there. You lie to me. Multiple enemy regiments approaching from these roads. Remember, there's only 3,000 men guarding this town. Only 3,000. The most serious threat is the armored train. I didn't know this was Poland in 1939. Coming down the rails without cannon, we will have great difficulty neutralizing it. That is wor oddly worded. What they mean is if you don't use your cannons on it, you're going to have a bad time. Understandably. All right. Again, we're going to pause here. We're looking pretty thin on the old forces front. So we've got some tough decisions to make. Now we're going to get some reinforcements here in a little bit. Our cavalry has actually done surprisingly well for us so far. Now they indicate that rebels are going to be coming down these two main roads. So if we think about this tactically for a minute, we've got some real nice cover here. But the further we push out, the more exposed we're going to be. I think with the forces that we have, we really have no choice. We're going to have to kind of keep it tight together. I'm going to mass my artillery at one point. So the reason I'm going to do that is that, theoretically speaking, by massing my artillery in one area, I should maximize its effectiveness and be able to kind of hit a unit at a time. That's my idea here anyway. The reality is, is that so many rebel regiments are about to come at us that these artillery are probably going to have to fight an infantry regiment, which is not a very attractive proposition for them. So I might as well give them the best fighting chance I can. I want you to move a little to the left there. With that being said, even if a full strength regiment comes charging at them with two batteries worth of canister shot, they're going to deal a lot of damage. So we're going to put it on triple speed here while everybody gets into position and we wait for the rebels to make themselves known. Might move these guys back just a touch. <coughs> All right, rebel sighted, it says. So there's a rebel general. Now we could definitely go after him. I'm going to pause real quick because here comes their skirmishers. All right, they engaged our artillery in hand-to-hand. -hand. That's not great, but these guys are going to give them what for the moment they break off, like right now. All right, focus your fire on them. Again, we're trying to hit a unit at a time. We're going to move our cavalry over here and see if we can't get a couple of opportune flanking movements here. Their cavalry are going to charge straight into our infantry and helpfully kill themselves. Um, yeah, as you can see, that canister shot is just so effective. Wheeler here is just getting torn to shreds. Unfortunately, our cavalry is not in position to really take advantage of that. Alright, reinforcements are here. We'll review what we have as they march up. Got a second wagon of supplies. Don't know if that's really necessary. Looks like three infantry brigades, two more artillery brigades. Very nice. My cavalry unit just bouncing around the place. Do not like that. Not at all. Some rebel skirmishers have come up and engaged us. Looks like we're really about to catch hell right here. So I'm going to move Loomis in behind to support and move these supplies off to the left flank just in case they do break through. Now 
we're gonna have our cavalry mount up. Yeah, they're all over us. Mm, oh, this is bad. This is this is real extra bad. Cannons are trying to turn to engage these guys. We just don't have enough men. They're going to capture those supplies. That's okay. We'll get them back here in just about one second. Fortunately, this is not going to go well. Charging cavalry into non-retreating troops is not a great idea. Where are those reinforcements? Run, 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 you fools. Yeah, our flank here is completely collapsed. Wood's battery is retreating. Scales is getting hammered. Walton is getting hammered. Just dig in as best you can. Wood's battery, dig in there. We're just going to try and hold this bridge in the hopes that our infantry reinforcements can get here in time. So it looks like we're in for a hell of a fight to hold this ground. Oh my goodness. So Colquitt there just decided he was going to uh, chill out. Our cavalry has gotten run off. Oh, cavalry. The skirmishers are absolutely hammering us. Scales has moved in there. Why not? Of course. I have my artillery set up on the other side of the river here. This is looking very, very bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we very well might lose this. The game is quite hard. Um, it does not pull its punches. I think a big part of what you're trying to do in this game, yeah, see we've lost an infantry regiment right there. We're gonna send this guy around this way. If you click and drag with the left mouse, you can define their exact path. We're going to have him go like that. Zook is doing his level best, but I don't know that it will be to any avail. We're going to charge our guys across this bridge. We've got to just get some sort of fire on the enemy. Shoot down Wheeler here, see if we can't drive him off. Okay, he's pulling back. Shoot at Revere. There's the armored train monstrosity which is shooting out of its cabin my god they've achieved enlightenment our charge is proceeding at the pace of a slug so i've ordered it to run too far which is fine actually no right just hold right there just give fire just shoot people cold quit there we go okay we may be able to pull something out here even still. Zook is just getting hammered right now. All right, we're gonna see if Bristow can get after these skirmishers. Major Edwards Bruce, oh no. Have the two of them focus on Perrin right here. These are six pounder batteries. They're just not really good enough. We're going to have Zook break cover here in a minute, more than likely. I'd love to charge my cavalry into the flank here, but Parrot would just wheel and wipe them out. So instead, looky looky what I found. I'm going to wait until he fires, and then we're going to get in there and af get after him. Well, he's going to helpfully walk in and die. But this train is going to hurt us real bad. Yep, it's going to punish us real good for that decision. 
Polquitz after Grant. Loomis is after Grant. Woods shooting at Parrot. Scales shoot at Parrot. Zook, keep trying to see those guys off. Bristow is out here killing this artillery battery, which is good news. But here comes Scales, and it's time for us to leave, boys. Hey, we got the kill. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we drew off an infantry regiment. See, I said so many bad things about cavalry i feel like they felt like they had to uh prove me wrong and we got our supplies back ha ha rebels rebel scum see if we can draw these guys off we may lose this cavalry unit right here nope they didn't get a full volley but they sure thought about it hey what if we uh run away those supplies. No, I think they're, yeah. I think those supplies are kind of doomed <laughs> to get recaptured. But that's okay. That's okay. It's distracting the enemy, which is their real value. I just don't understand why this rebel regiment is so stubborn. My goodness. Okay, we gotta get away from that train, bro. <laughs> what the heck? All right, we're going to refocus the artillery over in a wheeler. We're going to have Loomis engage Parrot. We're going to see if Colquitt can see off these rebel cavalry real quick. I don't know why they're standing so close. They're going to get punished for that. If we can get Colquitt forward, we can also secure the objective. All right, finally seeing off that rebel infantry unit. So let's get... Bruce around the flank here and see if we can sweep them back. Let's see if we can outmaneuver them with our supply <laughs> wagon here. <laughs> that poor supply wagon. That's the hardest working supply wagon in the Union Army right there, boys. Alright, Bruce has broken them there. So let's get our troops up. All right, we lost it again. Darn. Hate to see it. Yeah, hate to see it. All right, these artillery, shoot at that thing and get just get it the heck out of here, man. Get that train the heck out of here, please. See if we can catch one of these rebel infantry units when they pull out. Colquitt here is having a bad time. This is very unfortunate. These casualties are going to be very hard for us to replace. All right, we got to charge in. No, Roy, I hope you're up to the job. We've got to break this rebel center. Come on. All right. Milroy, I believe in you. All right, they've got a wheel. Because if they keep getting shot in the flank like that, they're going to break. Colquitt's broken. Parrot is coming over to flank them even more. This is, you know, just every way it could possibly be. This is a disaster. <laughs> don't want to engage this rebel cavalry they're frankly probably just superior to mine all right we've managed to drive them off i want you to hold there because the guns of that train are just gonna tear us apart see if these artillery can drive that thing off get it out of here i don't want to see that thing anymore see if colquitt can work up the courage to affect anything resembling a charge get some bullets up here to the boys they have an ammo meter uh, right there. It's that white line below the red. Red shows that they are reloaded and ready to fire. They aren't because uh, they're being courteous to the rebels. Decided that it would be unsportsmanlike to use our guns. Um, yeah, we're going to pull Bruce back. He's, he's just too exposed right now. We're going to 
get uh, supplies over there. So when they're low on ammo, they still fire. In fact, they will still fire if they are out of ammunition, which is, you know, bizarre by definition. But what they will not do is fire as fast or as uh, or do as much damage. So by topping up that ammunition, you help keep your troops as effective as possible. It's a really important thing. All right, there. Perfect job for you. Go kill this rebel general who's doing literally nothing right now. Charge Milroy in again. If we could just break that rebel unit, we would be in very nice shape, I think. This train has taken 50% damage and he's still hanging around. I think we've just about broken them. We've got to pull Loomis off. He's taken way too much damage. Cannot afford to lose another infantry regiment permanently. That would be a real disaster. Not that this isn't already a disaster. But hey, historically the Union didn't start the war that great and they still won. So there's hope yet, boys. That train is out of here. Look at it. Go away. Goodbye. Sayonara. See you later. There goes Grant. Literally shoot everything you have at this man. I do not ever want to see him again. Alright, I think our cavalry caught that general. Maybe not. Hard to say. But now we can get Milroy and Bruce and Colquitt to use this cover and really start tearing in to these rebel infantry. We're going to move these artillery here. We're going to have Loomis back them up. Move the supplies right there. Yes, here we go. Here we go. They're charging in. I don't know how this is going to go. Colquitt should be able to drive off Parrot here in a volley or two. They just don't like that flanking fire while they're in melee combat. Yeah, they're not a fan. That train's still shooting at us, man. That's real annoying. That's real ungentlemanly. I wish you wouldn't do that. Okay. Supplies. Go there. Actually, go there. Go there. There you go. Hey, look at that. Third time's the charm, right? All right. They're doing work. They're doing work. Scales and Woods, focus on Wheeler. Zook is doing just fine. Alright, if we can catch a Rebel Infantry unit here and destroy it, I would feel real nice about myself. But the chances of that do not seem to be high at the moment. We're going to run Colquitt forward. We're going to run uh, Milroy and behind Bruce. Because they're about to do that to try and delay me. Alright, there goes Scales, but that cavalry is covering. If that cavalry gets stuck in somewhere, we're going to go down there and we're going to get after Scales while he tries to. Re oh, he's reformed. Very unlucky. We'll get him next time. These guys have just been <laughs> camped out over here, just content to trade shots with Zook. This whole battle i actually think they're like chilling out over there like having a barbecue like hey if we had like pretend to battle each other and you guys pretend to battle each other then none of us have to get hurt 
And old Zook over here was like, My god, man, you're a genius. Meanwhile, they're like, Look at all these dudes. Look at all these guys. Just getting shot to pieces. Yeah, none of that. Thank you. Alright, I think we've pretty much got them on the ropes at this point. We're going to keep advancing with our guys. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Move our artillery across. Get them into position there. And Scales coming after those cavalry. He was like, oh, I heard you were going to try and uh, run me down. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. Who's running who? It's just kind of silly to me in this game that, like, if an infantry unit is chasing your cavalry, you'd better run. Because if you don't, they will punish you. Quite severely. We're just going to hang around. We're just going to be obnoxious. That's our goal in life right now. Can we get a quick shot off? Yep. <laughs> Did not kill one single person. <laughs> wow. You know, just just stunning, beautiful, brave results right there. Truly, truly spectacular. Worthy of the highest recognition as United States Army Cavalry. And, you know, why would you do something so bold and so dangerous? What if we just ride up? And we just like shoot Perrin in the side. Just like, haha! See, we did it. We got the kill. That was our kill. You saw it. You all saw it. It's on video. It cannot be disputed. If you attempted to dispute it, you would be a monster. Don't steal that from Bristow. He destroyed that unit. Only him. Did not the two-hour battle Colquitt had with him. No. Only Bristow. The man, the myth, the legend. It's right up and shoot scales in the side. This is what you get for chasing me all over the world. Alright, we're going to move Loomis up and see if he can't get in some pot shots. Move this supply wagon over here. Top up our ammo. Same thing here. We've just about got a really nice result here out of what looked like it was going to be real bad. All right, rear flanking there. We're drifting a little too close. Oh, nice. All right, change your fire to scales. Zoop, get out there and get out in front of them in case they decide to come back. Get that nice cover right there. All right. Everybody just pile on this guy. Like, get him out of here. I don't want to see him no more. All right, we're going to try to run around the back of him and just charge right into his back. Our charge is not refilled. Brilliant. Well, we'll see if Bristow, who got one man shot there, and is behaving very strangely, turning at the literal speed of mud. Cavalry makes no sense in this game. Man, no sense. Did you even kill anybody that time either? You didn't. Charge. Run these guys down. You know, take them out. Just, just take them out, bro. You might say, don't the cannons do friendly fire? I have no clue. I highly doubt it, because this game is sometimes just illogical in that way. But, you know, I guess I guess more, more incredible things have happened. There we go. Bristow is on scales. He should be off. We're going to go to triple speed, because it looks like we have won this day, boys. The Union forever. Scales is out of here. Colquitt. Get over there and get after this guy. Let's destroy him too if we can manage it. 
it's worth the casualties to me. Yep. Charge into his rear. Oh, the general got wounded. Or the, the commander of the cavalry outfit. Oh, there we go. All right. So we, looks like we pretty much wiped the Confederates there. Yes, only 3,000 men. Only 3,000. Um, it was a victory. We lost about just over 50% of our infantry strength. That is kind of a Pyrrhic victory in my, my opinion. Uh, dealt about 4,000 casualties of Confederates. Goals, conditions achieved. So our unit with the most kills was Scales Artillery and then Woods Artillery. I'm telling you, Artillery is the best unit in the game, bar none. Zook actually had the most kills out of any infantry unit. See, I just shouldn't talk bad. Bristow did have 320, which is uh, more than the men he started with. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, we did lose two majors, a colonel, and we have a major wounded. That's the cavalry guy there. And then we captured some guns and stuff, but we'll talk about that later. All right. Civil War campaign medal. We participated. Thank you. We will take our participation medal. Uh, so as you can see, we don't start with all of those units because some of them were part of the battle, but we will cover that in the next episode. Once again, I am Athendor Gaming. Thank you for watching the first episode of the first Let's Play ever on this channel, and we will see you next time.